Wellness is a lifelong journey. I never drink water. This crazy time we're all in, I mean, we're all adjusting our routines and we're all tweaking and tinkering. We're trying to figure out, how do I trim the fat? How do I put more fat into this? You know, how do I take some of this fat from over here and move it over there? Right? How do I melt some of this fat? How do I cook in that fat that I just melted? You know, how do I cook? In a lot of ways, this relationship we all have with wellness, I mean, it shifts, doesn't it? You know, with our creaky bones. Creaky bones that are surrounded by fat. 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 I don't think fat's a bad word. No. Overweight is offensive because it implies Mm -hmm. that there is a correct weight. Mm Mm-hmm. And fat is just, here it is. Here it is. Fat. Yep. That's the word. I think people are scared because it sounds so severe. Just the th and the t and the the ah. Mm -hmm. But people shouldn't be afraid to every morning look in the mirror and say or scream, you're fat. You fat fuck. It's liberating. Well, let's break it down. Mm -hmm. Your body has only, I think, like six things in it. Yes. Right? It's got bones. Bones. Which is also your hair and your fingernails is all bones. That's right. You've got fat. And I'll say it. You have fat. Oh, my God. He said it. You got wet stuff. You know, that's that's all the... That's all, you know... That's it. Just all that wet stuff. How many things are there? There's six things. There's six things. Okay. There's six. T- there's six materials that make up the body. There's bones. There's fat. There's wet stuff. There's guts. <laughs> there's guts. <laughs> there's guts. You have connectors. You have stuff holding it all together, and then you have the ultimate thing holding it together, which is your skin. I'm about to. Blow your mind and ruin your life, okay? Because I've thought a lot about the six things. <laughs> Do not tell me that skids is bones. I can't hear that right now. Well, there's good... Okay, listen, there is good news. There are only six things, you're right. Excellent. At first, my research was taking me in direction. I think that there's eight to ten things. I'm screaming and screaming and screaming. Oh, I used to think there were 11 things. Let's just not go there. But you should lie down. Skin is it, skins is bones. I'm starting to fall over. I'm falling. Well, I'm gonna get those. I'm at eighty degrees. What are the things called? The clear things. Uh, uh, defibrillator. EKGs. Defibrillator. Yeah, I'm rubbing those together, and I'm okay. Okay. Ready? Clear. Yep. Yeah. Oh my guts. I'm going to do it again, though. Okay? All right. Clear. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I can feel the connectors in my knees and hips starting to loosen. That's biology. Now do me. All right. Here I go. And clear. Woo! Yes, I love that. Zippy. Want another? Um. We'll just we'll give you a little one. And clear. Great. So when I narrowed those things down, I got so scared that I couldn't count but i did discover that there is another thing Mm -hmm. and that should bring us to roughly six things it's back to six it's very hard to define because when you look in the mirror you can see the wet stuff you can see skins you can see hair Mm -hmm. you can see everything yeah but then there's another thing that's actually hiding and it's even hiding under your guts and that's your heart and I know what you're thinking. Heart is guts. But it's not that, that kind I'm of... I, well, oh, but it's not. It's not that kind of heart. So, I'm really sorry for screaming. Calm down. I just, there, there. It's Come just on. a lot. Hey. It's a lot. Hey, calm down. Oh, okay. All right, tell me, tell me about the heart. Okay, so the heart is like... It's almost like an idea. People say soul. And I say mm-hmm. soul is heart. Then they're inner twined and if you spell soul backwards what do you get Uh. so there you go now i've been trying to solve a mystery of my own 
Hit me with it. Which is, well, I'm trying to figure out whether or not eyes are bones with wet stuff in them. <laughs> this or is, whether or not they're wet stuff with bones. I can speak to this. No <laughs> pun intended. So most animals' eyes are made out of guts. Okay. The human eye is made out of small hairs. So eyes. Bones. Yes. But there's wet stuff in there. The, the movie said that there isn't. Oof. When I see it on film, to me, film has heart and heart is science. And this is sort of where you and I differ. You're a man of science. I'm a man of letters. Of book learning. Mm. Of reading. Of papers. How come you never read my papers? I've gone back to my career as a professional poet, and it's been hard. Obviously, mm. things have been hard for everybody. The world has changed. Yes. And people don't want to hear my poem anymore. People say... But it's so long. I know. And they still... And we... <laughs> I'm like, do you, have you heard it? It's so, so, so long. <laughs> and it's like. Why wouldn't you want to hear a poem like that? I know. It's so long. Everyone likes that other long, old poem. That What's that old, That really long, old Odyssey. One? Odyssey. People love that one. Yeah. This one's so much longer. Odyssey has come back in such a huge way in pandemic. Netflix saw an opportunity and they jumped on it. They said, what if we do reality show based on Odyssey? And you put mm -hmm. a, a bunch of young single people on an island. Mm -hmm. But you call the island Troy. So it's like, oh, yes, this is yeah. Odyssey. Okay. I'm seeing the connections. Even though Odyssey is leaving Troy. Let's forget about that for a second. That's Iliad. I've forgotten. Good. Me too. So you put these hot young singles on island. And the host is Homer, and he says, welcome to Odyssey. Don't touch anything. No kiss. No fuck. Yeah, keep all the bones apart. Just keep it all your wet stuff separate. If your bones touch a little bit, that's okay. But don't really, like, slap those bones together. You could see these young singles, like, okay, well, I know how I'm going to game the system. How are they going to know if I slap my bones together with what's-his-face or what's-her-face? Yeah. Well, there's a chemical called luminol. And if you pour luminol on something, it turned green if you've been slapping your bones together with somebody. Also, a lot of people said that there wasn't a rule uh, against mixing your guts. And so a lot of people just said, well, we'll just have our tongues touch only. That's guts on guts. But what they didn't realize is that actually your gut, those guts have wet stuff on them. Exactly. Everything's connected. And, and really, most guts do. My point is this. There's two major, very, very, very long poems out there. There's my long poem, which is called which is so long. My, my long poem. Yep. And there's Odyssey by nobody even knows. Yeah, probably some idiot. Homer, mystical old blind man. He's dead. What an idiot. I know. So like. Or was anyone even talking about him? Nobody's talking about me. Or my long poem. Ridiculous. And whenever I talk to them about me, they say, that's so long. And I say, <laughs> what, it, what is the disconnect here? Yes. Yes. My long poem. Yes. It's very, it's so long. Yes. Good value, that poem. Exactly. On value alone, you'd be a fool not to get it. To pass up an opportunity like that, to me, is, well, it's more painful than anything. Because they don't want to hear my long poem. And some people say, hold on. Before you read my long poem, and I say, okay, yes, but I am going to read it. So let's, you know, ask your mm -hmm. questions and then I'm going to read my long poem. And and this is you taking up that oral tradition, right? Where you you haven't published this poem, I don't think. It's it's just a, uh, it's more of an experience. It's oral, O-R-A-L, but it's also oral, A-U-R-A-L. I mean, that, of course... Yep. It would be both. We're talking sounds. We're sounds, exactly. I would say to you, Shh, sit down and listen mm -hmm. to my long poem. Or stand up if you're one of those freaks who is like, oh, I'm going to stand all day and that's how I'm going to lose fat. And we'll come back to fat. We'll circle back mm -hmm. to that. Of course we will. 
Because that's really what this is all about. That's what we started talking about. It's what we'll end by talking about. Closure. People say before you read the long poem, they they ask you a question. Mm -hmm. They say, how old is the poem? It's brand new. 20 years old. Much newer than (laughs) Odyssey. So much newer. Yeah. And then they say, oh, so this is a poem by a small child. And I say, well, technically, but look in front of you. I am a man now. Yeah. You don't know that there's misspellings because I'm reading it to you because the oral tradition and you can't even see the pictures I drew. Stop it. And they say, please don't read your long poem. And so it just seems like interest in poem has dried up for me. And just as far as my income goes, it's zero now because ju- mm. because obviously... Well, you know, I guess we never talked about it. Our company just dissolved. Yeah, blew away to dust. I'm remembering now. Because it was, in a way, sort of like the Odyssey, even though that poem... Sucks shit. It sucks shit. When Rome burned, what was Nero doing? Fiddling. Playing on that fiddle. Fiddled while Rome was burning. Mm -hmm. And I used to hear that story all the fucking time. It never fails to piss me off. I think, how are you going to fiddle? Pour water why, on it. You're, you're, why, did he, why did he do that? Is it because he was rich or because he was a jerk? Sort of, yeah, both. Like He was, so, he was, a he was such jerk. a terrible emperor that he didn't care and nothing meant anything to him. Mm. So it is a good metaphor for us. Except that we were great emperors, but also... People didn't agree with that assessment i agree that we were great emperors join school diet 2.0 we were burning all the documents Mm -hmm. we can say that right yeah it's 2021 it's 2021 we burned all the documents no paper trail fresh start exactly new year fresh start laws don't go back that far no statute of limitations double jeopardy final jeopardy yeah I'll bet it all, Alec. No paper trail. The ashes were dancing around us. Yeah. And you looked at me and you said, is it just me or is it like the ashes are dancing around us? That's what I said. I looked at you and I was about to spit in your face. But then I saw the sort of, I mean, I hate to say this word, but poetry in it. Mm. I realized it was a sort of beautiful dance. And I looked at you. And I forgot that I wasn't going to spit on you. So I did spit on you. Yep. You didn't seem to notice or care. It's all just wet stuff, you know. I handed you your Gibson Flying V guitar. Yep. I grabbed my double neck Fender Stratocaster. Mm-hmm. Two necks. And we soloed while, in a way, our Rome burned. Because yeah, no, and no paper trail. When you say you handed it, I mean, you threw it right. out in front of you. And I, I caught it on my knees in a slide. And then immediately just went way up that neck, baby. And then by the time I got it, you already had the, had the time to whip around that sweet double fender. Yeah, Ooh. it was on my back, obviously. Yeah, exactly. It was on your back where you keep it all the time. And then we sort of... After 15 to 20 minutes of solo, we were kind of standing back to back, much like Bruce Springsteen and Clarence. And Obama. And Obama. That's right. Because we were back to back, I don't know if you realize this, I did feel a little bit emotional because you don't... I mean, what, what stuff was pouring out of my bones? <laughs> and that's no, so I was the, vulnerable. I was the same way. I mean... What stuff was absolutely streaming out of my two front bones? And, you know, they say that the most beautiful form two beings can take is the beast with two backs. But I do think there's a special bond between business brothers when you form the beast with no backs. And it's just two guys back to back just just wailing away. Just absolutely wailing. 
on those guitars. No backs, two faces. Smoke inhalation. Four hands just moving at full speed. Coughing, gasping for air. Yeah. The CO2. Yes. Getting to you. Oxygen leaving the room. If I didn't say this at the time, I, I want to apologize for pushing back so hard when you were like, let's burn the paper trail inside. Mm-hmm. I said, it's perfectly nice night outside. I just think it would be safer. And you were like, trust me. You got to trust me on those. You're not going to get a closure if you burn it outside. No way. Because then all that ash just goes up into the sky. You got to keep that ash swirling around you. And who runs the sky? The government. And they're going to mm-hmm. be able to piece together, you know, some sensitive information about business mm-hmm. dealings that some would call illegal, yep. shady. Shady, sure. I, I think. It would. Below, below board. Is that the opposite of above board is below board? It's below board. Some would say below the belt. Below the belt, for sure. Below the belt business dealings. Dirty, dirty tactics, some people would call them. I heard some people say perverted. Yeah, I heard some people call them nasty. Sleazy, for sure, I've heard. Greasy. A lot of people yeah. said these are some of the greasiest business dealings. Business de- some of the greasiest contracts yes. that have ever been handed to me. We weren't eating very well at the time that we were signing some of those papers, well, it gets back to this concept of wellness and yes. how we do keep revisiting it. I mean, don't we? Mm-hmm. You know, as we learn more about our guts and uh, our bones and maybe even our hearts, if there is such a thing. And fat. And fat. And you find out what your fat needs and how to put it in the places you want it to be, the shapes you want. And how much? How much? Six? Ten? Yeah. Nine? Seven? Four? Four? Only one. Sometimes you just want one. Sometimes you eat, sometimes you want zero. Oof. I heard that when Henry Cavill becomes Batman, he gets down to zero fat. Wow. And we're afraid to say it like we say, oh, he builds muscle. <laughs> what is that? Listen, there's a saying, you know, where you make a six pack is in the kitchen. That's right. Because it's all about Batman. Here's the really fucked up. Everybody knows this about Henry Cavill. But here's what I learned. I ran into him on the street and he looked like shit. Ooh. Yeah. He looked like... Ooh. He looked... I thought he was a dump truck. I tried to put garbage into oh, him. Oh, no. Oh, no. And did he squash it all with his mouth? He actually spat it right out. Henry Cavill says, Oi there, mate. Mm. I'm not a dump truck. I'm not Batman. I'm Superman. Yep. I'm the Witcher. And mm. I said, Okay, well, if you're any of these things, then how come I'm looking at you right now in real life? Your, your body is so bad. Just bad. Yeah. We should normalize saying that bodies are bad. If we're going to say yeah. that bodies are fat, okay? We should be able to say that they suck. Some some bodies have too much bones. You have too much bones. You're going to have too much guts. They're too wet. Oh, yeah. Some people are way too wet. And he gets so close to me. He shows me his phone. Turns it to camera mode. And it's us. Oh, look, there's us. He says, watch this. I'm going to add a filter. And all of a sudden, we look hot in his phone. And I'm thinking, hold Oof. up, what, what, what is it? What, what is this? What did you, what did you do? And he said, that's right. It's, 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 it's computer generated imagery. And this is Kardashian. And this wow. is beauty standards. I was so pissed. And that's a type of deep fake. And that's the question. Because if you think about it, deep fake is real. There's no discernible difference because we're also plugged into our phones. We've stopped noticing when we're not looking at our phones. Julian, we're not even here. This is going to mess you up, buddy. <laughs> so I'm going to get the defibrillator later ready. Let me uh, stretch my knees real quick. Stretch them. Okay. This entire time that we've been talking, we're not even in the same room. You're looking at a screen, which is a big phone. What? Yeah. 
I'm not there. We're talking into microphones. How did I get defibrillated earlier? Don't worry about it. Okay. I was there. Obviously, we're roommates, but now we're on Skype. Mm. Which has... Deep Skype? We're on deep... We're... Yes. Well, I was learning about CGI, and what you're telling me is that over the internet, someone can add a part of your to your body that is not heart, and is not the connector, and is not guts, and is not wet, and is not bones, mm-hmm. and is not, I think, a sixth thing. It's the sixth thing. So the short version is, I figured out that heart and soul are actually part of hair. So the sixth thing is... And therefore bones. It, yes. I mean, now we're semantics. At this splitting point. bones. We're splitting bones at this point. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I love that. But <laughs> the, the last part is a sort of ethereal, sort of spiritual quality, which is... Sex appeal. Sex appeal. Thank you. Genuinely took me a long time to come up with because my wet stuff and my bones up there have been all sorts of well the baby. the connectors are falling apart. I mean, let's I hate say to, it. I hate, yeah, I hate to break it to you, but the brain's fat and connectors. Think about it, but we don't need to go down that path. But do think about it. I'm gonna think about it, and we'll circle back to that. All right, for sure. But it's like, how do all these things work together? You're telling me that my skin is bones and my skin is my soul. And also my bones are my soul. Which, honestly, I had a feeling about. Because that make, that makes skeletons make a lot more sense to me. Right. I mean, if you really take a step back and you look at it, you go, oh, it's all... Yeah. Yeah. And the concept that my sixth part isn't actually skin. Yes. Because skin is just bones, but is instead sex appeal. This is clicking for me. Mm-hmm. And then you're saying that the internet can modify my sex appeal and sort of enhance it. It can not only modify sex appeal, it can take all of these parts that are totally separate. Everyone knows that your bones have nothing to do with sex your appeal. Guts. Your guts have nothing to do with sex appeal. You- you can have some of the worst guts and still be smoking hot. Well, because this bones, is... Your bone structure, nobody cares about how your bones do it. None of that influences it. things. And this, this is actually interesting because this does fill a big gap for me because I never really understood. If you think about, you know, a cartoon, you think about Big Bugs Bunny, you think about Mickey Mouse, you know, things that are just pure sex appeal. No bones. Oh my god. No guts. And I was like, what is this? You know, like why what are what are these things and why aren't they wet? And now I get it. It's just like a kind of pure a purely sex appealed entity. Yes. Like like Minnie Mouse. Yes. Like like uh Daffy Duck. Jessica Rabbit. Jessica um, Rabbit. You already said Minnie Mouse? Yeah, Minnie and Mickey. I mean, those are first, yeah. Yeah, the king and queen of sex appeal. I think in 2021, it's actually okay to say that some bodies are bad. And it's actually okay to say now that like Jessica Rabbit, not even that hot. And that Minnie Mouse was smoking hot. Yeah. Because you look at a perfect body like Mickey's, you know, where it's like a, a circle... And four little sticks, and then four more circles, and then a big circle and two little circles. Oh my god. It's circles. I can feel my bones and changing right now. That's literally everything you've just said. Henry Cavill said all of this to me. Wow. Mickey Mouse, all of it. Yeah. And I'm looking at this guy and thinking, I'm sorry. This is Spider-Man? Okay. Okay. This guy looks like a dump truck. And he says, I know what you're doing right now. You're looking at me and thinking, this guy's Spider-Man? This guy looks like a dump truck. But that's the point. We can't... Yeah, you just draw Mickey Mouse on top of, on top of that guy on the internet, and then suddenly he's the hottest thing you've ever seen. That's... Yes! Okay, so I get it. all these influencers, they're presenting this image like, oh, I'm Mickey Mouse. I'm on an island, I've got a cocktail, I'm Mickey Mouse. 
it, it's it's like when I go to the pier and I put my face in the mermaid wall. There's a big wooden board, and I put my face in it, and there's a mermaid on the other side. And suddenly I say, what if I took all my bones and guts away, and, and I r- remove my wet stuff, and I remove my fat, and I just become pure sex appeal for a second? What What would living in that fantasy be like? And that's exactly what these Hollywood, I, you know, at this point, can we even call them films, or are they just Hollywood TikToks? That's what these Hollywood TikToks are doing. Let, let me ask you this. When's the last time you watched a movie that wasn't TikTok? When's the last time you watch an actual s- film that wasn't TikTok? Hmm. Think about it. Ooh, that's tough. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to say, I don't remember because it's Same. been so long. Same. And I've checked my Netflix history and I've never watched a movie. And I'll tell you, I mean, sometimes when I. Because sometimes I do try to watch a movie and I sit down to finally feast my bones upon just a beautiful 70 millimeter, you know, projecting the booth, the popcorn, cherry Coke. Bunch of crunch. You know, and I'll really get in that moment. And what I'll find is that the TikTok will in some ways popcorn trick me and I'll be eating the popcorn and find the TikTok inside of it. And then I'll just end up watching the TikTok instead of the movie. And that's how they get you. That's why TikTok is fucking printing money. And they're actually closing down. The you remember the, the Netflix store that was around the corner from my house when we were in high school yeah. like on the weekends? Mm-hmm. We'd walk there and pick out a Netflix. Yeah, and I remember you could smell the Netflix factory on the walk over, which was exactly. it was like the store it was the front of the factory, I think. Mm-hmm. So you got you always got them fresh. It's closed down. Netflixes are closing down. TikToks are putting them all out of business. I mean, not only have we gotten fat, bad bodies, I feel like we're getting old and we're irrelevant. Mm. Yep. I'm just starting to try to piece together this Mickey Mouse thing. I need to make money again. My long poem, nobody's biting. There's only one other path for me. Mm -hmm. I need to get rid of enough fat that you can put a Mickey Mouse on top of me and there is an extra stuff sticking out of the side. Mm -hmm. And I want to be, I want to get a good body just so that I can beat up somebody if they say they won't do the Mickey Mouse filter. Because I'm going to get somebody to do that. I don't know how to do that. Uh I think that's the only way forward for me. All of our plumbing the depths of what is a human, what what is health. What's wellness? What is wellness? Yes. I just feel like everything's Mickey Mouse. I think this is a big problem with, uh, you know, the internet being your wellness and the internet being your job and the internet being your lifestyle and your community is it is so easy to just look at Mickey Mouse all day and sort of like waste the way a day getting lost in that sex appeal, you know, getting lost in those like big ovular eyes and thinking like those are real eyes. I mean, there's no bones there. It's just pure. It's what would an eye look like if, if there were no bones in it, it were just sex appeal. When I look at that, what I'm thinking is me likey, but everybody sees something. Well, different. I think I look at that and I say me likey. I mean, I'm a I'm a red wet stuffed American man, so I look at it and I say me likey just like anybody else. But right, but that is the problem: is that we likey too much. <laughs> we likey what we see, but we don't likey what we are. We should be making ourselves so horny. Yeah, and I worry about I worry about these kids that have really only grown up seeing Mickey Mouse, you know, and they haven't felt the sex appeal of like, you know, a, of a real pile of bones, fat, wet stuff connectors. Now let's not forget about the guts. I, I listen. I, I didn't mean to go on a whole thing. Mm-hmm. You see me pacing around, just yeah. drinking straight from a bottle of yak. And I uh, and I have put over a filter on you, so I am seeing Mickey Mouse, and so it is keeping my attention. You know, we're products of this society, but do any of us really understand its inner workings and its machinations? Henry Cavill. Henry, he does, yeah. Mm. Henry Cavill knows. Let, let me ask you this, okay? Maybe you didn't have all this body stuff figured out, but I don't understand... I am completely fucking broke. Mm-hmm. So you've been covering the rent. 
we are living in a palatial, we're living in a palace. Yeah. That can't be cheap. On the no. Upper West Side. Yeah. So you're still making money and our company burned. We fiddled and diddled. Mm-hmm. But you've still got income. You don't need income if you have a big pile. You know what I'm saying? Think about sand at the beach. Pile it all up in your mind. Okay. Now start taking a little pinch out of that pile. You give it to your friend. They build their sand castle. You give they it- just need... So, I'm sorry to interrupt. They just need like yeah, They just need one little pinch. Okay. okay. Oh, one pinch. Yeah. Not one grain. No, just a little okay. pinch. Just Maybe a pinch. Okay. 70 grains. Depends how fine the sand is. You know, it could be 40 very coarse grains. Could be something like 200 fine grains. Mm-hmm. Just a little pinch. Okay, so I've given them a pinch. And now I've got my slightly diminished pile. Yeah. Um, but just, uh, now just smooth that over. All right. Now okay. take that pile with your mind. It has a little divot in it. Now just smooth okay. over that divot. Okay. I'm smoothing the divot. Now, do you really have less sand? Yeah. No. Do you really have less sand? <sighs> Still have one pile of sand. Listen, I got to ask you, is the sand a... Some sort of like analogy for some for is it just we're just talking about sand? It is an analogy, but it's an extremely one to one analogy. I have a big pile of money, so you're giving me a pinch. Yeah, I give you a pinch, and then I smooth over the pile, and you know it's about this. It's I think it's it's still a big pile of money. The pile seems fine. Now I need I need to twist it up. Again, I need to throw another curveball. Oh, no. I got the defibs at the ready. I've been pulling one over on you. Because my long poem, at some point I just realized, cancel culture, okay? My long poem is not going to work anymore. Yep. I mean, you I, Yeah, you talk for long enough, something, something's going to cancel you. My long poem is a long, long, long poem. You get about 40 seconds in, you're going... No, you can't say that this is canceled. So I knew, okay, in this woke culture, my long poem is not going to cut it. People want whatever Julian's got. They want my pile of money. You have a pile of money. And I'm thinking, okay, well, Julian's not going to live forever. And when he stops living, and you've always promised that you're going to die before me, so this this will be an issue. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking when... Julian, you, me, is dead. I might start to notice when the pinches are being taken out of the pile of money. Hmm. I can't have that. Yeah. I've grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Yeah. And when I figured out the six parts, I realized something. Those six parts can be translated into binary code. What? Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. I'll wait. Binary code. Six parts. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. Six in binary. It's one, one, zero. Exactly. One, ten. Mm -hmm. One, ten. Okay. All right. Carry the two. All right. Okay. I think you're right. Exactly. I have been gaslighting you a little bit. You wake up in the morning, you rub in the sleep out of your eyes, and you say, did you hear that? Was something like whirring? Was there some mechanical? Yeah, well, I always felt like I was in the, when I was asleep, I always felt like I was in the presence of a rapidly oscillating magnetic field. Well, Julian. I'd wake up, I'd be like, what's this wet stuff? Like, this wet stuff, my wet stuff feels all shaken up. I was putting you in the MRI. I was putting you in the. You son of a bitch. I was. I was I, Look, you okay. son of a bitch. I might, might be a son of a bitch, but you I'm did a, it, didn't you? I did it. You son I of got a bitch. It. Look at this. I printed it out. Read them Holy, a week, buddy. Oh my god, one one zero. 
That's that's all my digits. That is you. Wow. And I'm not talking about a sort of facsimile. It's not some black mirror bullshit where it's like, oh, this could be used to create a Julian, but it's not really Julian. Like, this is you. No, I mean, I, I'm i reading this and it feels like a blueprint to my psyche and <laughs> my body. It's both. And I've got it. I've cracked the code. I've hacked you. It's an intricate diagram of how my guts and connectors work to make my own thinking brain. And seeing the logic, it seems flawless. It is flawless. Oh my God. And I've, I've tested it. Shut up. Okay. Okay, well, if you're going to tell me to shut up, then I'm just going to leave. All right, don't shut up. Have you noticed that our microwave... Which is great, by the way. Love but it. it's got two USB slots. Mm -hmm. I love smart devices. Smart everything. Mm, smart everything. Smart microwave. I love getting an alert on my phone when my microwave's done. So smart. The more alerts on my phone, the better. But USB ports, talk about smart. So I took this binary code. I put it in a file. Mm -hmm. It could be a text file. It doesn't fucking... Who gives a shit? I don't it's still care. Julian. I named it julian.txt. Mm -hmm. It says, do you want to save it as a Word document? I said, don't. no. It'll change the formatting. Exactly. And then it says, oh, do you want to save it as a Word document that's compatible with 97 to 2004? No. So just a doc, not a docx. If you know anything about me, you know I'm not compatible with 97 to 2004. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah, you've got that bumper sticker that that's says right. that. That's and right. And so I say, no, save it as a dot .txt. Rich text? I'm afraid if I give you too many secrets, that then you'll be able to make a... You'll get my binary. Code. All right. But yeah, it's, it's rich text. So I plug in a thumb drive, and I drag and drop. Now Julian's on a thumb drive. Huh. Hmm. Makes you think. Ship yeah. Theseus. Huh. Wow. Hmm. So I got, this, uh, I got this thumb drive. I'm looking at this thumb drive. I'm looking at you across the room. You're just... Standing there, slack-jawed, robe open, just holding a cup of coffee, but kind of <laughs> spilling it slowly on the ground. <laughs> it's me. I'm a gape. Covered in, I hope, dirt. But I didn't, it didn't smell like dirt. Well, I can't walk with a cup of coffee on a good day. <laughs> Brother, you caught me on an off day. <laughs> it was a bad day. Let's just day. leave it at that. Yeah. I let you sort of get that out of your system. And once you've kind of shuffled off, I look at the microwave. I look at the USB drive in my hand and I think, what if? So I plug in Julian into the microwave. Mm -hmm. Now for a second, the lights just mm -hmm. sort of dimmed for a second. Yeah. And did you hear sort of a generator noise? Kind of like a, boom, you know. I don't know if there is non-diegetic sound in my life, but if there is, uh, like maybe that sort of generator sound became like the music, like ominous sort of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And the microwave goes blank. I think, oh, yeah, power surge. This backs up my theory. And then it just says, ready, which is what it often says. Yeah, it's with my classic microwave. And I am trying to push buttons. It's probably beeping and, and bopping and input happens. No. What? They're goopy. <laughs> and as I'm looking at the goop that's on my hands from these goopy buttons, I look back at the microwave, and now it doesn't say ready. It says, kill me, Brad. Hmm. And I, I'm thinking, what does this mean? And then it says, I don't want to be microwave. Sounds like me. I, I always said that. And that was how I knew. You're always saying, if I die, don't bring me back as a microwave. You son of a bitch. Pretty much like... This was your worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. I was deeply unsettled. I'm looking at a microwave, but inside this microwave, there's my friend Julian. That's him. But he's also over there. Uh, and I do have to ask, if the microwave is somehow generating wet stuff, is it generating bones or guts or anything else? Did it, does it have a layer of fat? Does it have sex appeal? It is sort of confined to... The bones and wet stuff and et cetera of whatever's emulating you. So what you're telling me is the microwave already has a little bit of wet stuff. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that I smeared jelly all over the buns. Oh, okay. That, this isn't like a David Cronenberg sort of like it started becoming organic matter situation. Uh-huh. This yeah. is, uh, I goofed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, I, I should have known, because you also have that experience just opening the fridge. Sometimes you always smear jelly all over the like fridge bar and stuff like that. You're, you're always wondering whether or not the fridge is alive for a second. But no, that tracks. I'm always yelling, why am I goopy? Why is this goopy? And you're always saying... Yeah, you did it again. You spilled honey or jelly or almond butter or something. It takes me a while to understand, but yeah. eventually I do. You accidentally put Nutella on the um, handle of your toothbrush again. <laughs> that was a happy accident. That's true. <laughs> that was one of the most fun nights I've ever had. And we can't... We. We'll have to circle back to that. We can't go into no, that. No, no, no. We have more important things. We have the literal code of the human soul here. Yes. I'm going to carry this thumb drive with me as an insurance policy. Okay. Because if you, if you die. You won't know where the pile of money is. I won't know where the pile of money is. And, but I'm not even thinking about, I'm, I'm, this is sort of like a sort of wearing it as a prize, as though I've taken it from you. Mm -hmm. But I am wearing this USB necklace, which you have complimented me on. Thank you. And now you know that it is you, Mm. as much as you are you. Brad, you son of a bitch, you've done it again. I mean, good show. Fair play. What what can you say when the uh, master pulls back the curtain? That's right. You know? You say, what's back here? Yeah, you say, what's back there? And you see all the ropes and levers, and it's like, oh, yep, that's how all the sets came down. Because now we're in a play, I decided. That's how the play That's how the play works. And it turns out there were no people on the stage. It was a bunch of puppets, because it was the puppet master. And you know what? The puppet master made them dance using just his little pinky. And guess what? He's got ten of those bad boys. Ten. Ten little pinkies. And 15 if he's really trying, because he can get one foot in, but not both. But the Puppet Master doesn't even have to really try. No. And to the world, it's just the beautiful illusion of the bear juggling balls on the unicycle. And then they clap and they clap, and they say, oh, what a pretty little bear. We're sheep. We're clapping. We're sheep. Yeah. Yeah, bear. Well, thank you. Thank you, bear. Little do they know that then you pull back the curtain, and they see your toe holding up the bear as your hands delicately spin the unicycle and looks of horror come upon their fresh little faces. It's a shame that people won't be able to see the painting that you've made. This really reminds me of Hieronymus Bosch. Yeah, I diagrammed it all out in in detail, anticipating that the conversation might take such a turn. Yeah, and all the worlds at play and it's a stage. Bravo, maestro. Thank you so much. Your masterstroke. As... I have completed with the feathers of my brush this painting. So, too, have you completed your grand designs on your masterwork of making a mockery of me. And you know what? You've done it. And congratulations. Thank you so much. 